Thanks for tuning into the Boston Roll channel. Liking the video and subscribing to the channel are free and easy for you, and they help me out a lot. If you want to go further with your support, Patreon and YouTube membership offer access to the Boston Roll Discord community, early access to lists, written content, things like that. You can have me play your deck on the channel, and the highest tiers come with individual coaching sessions. If you use YouTube membership, you also get sweet badges and emotes integrated here into YouTube. You can support the channel while you shop at tcgplayer.com by using my affiliate link in the video description. And you can play any deck anytime by using a cardhoarder.com loan account on Magic Online. If you want to wear your support, check out the merch store. And of course, thanks for being here. Now let's go play some Magic. Welcome to another Boston Roll Legacy video. Today, at the request of Patreon subscriber Costas, I am playing Classic Hive Mind Combo. This is a deck that existed for a long time. This was actually really big in like the 2010 ish era. I guess this card is from M10, so that makes sense why it would be have been big then. This got second place in a Legacy Grand Prix. Like, this was a very real deck. And what we're doing here is the card Hive Mind is a six mana enchantment. Whenever a player casts an instant or sorcery spell, each other player copies that spell. Each of those players may choose new targets for their copy. What we're trying to do is use Hive Mind to copy one of the packs from Future Sight. The packs are all zero mana instants that have some sort of effect that you get now and pay for later. If you can't pay for it, you lose. If we have Hive Mind in play and we play Pact of the Titan and your opponent is not a red deck, they lose. They get a 4 4, then die in their upkeep. Same with if they're not a black deck, if they're not a blue deck, if they can't pay for two of them. The goal is to ram Hive Mind and quickly win the game in your opponent's next upkeep. The way that we ram Hive Mind is we have Show and Tell. We can cast this thing as early as turn two with Ancient Tomb. If Show and Tell resolves, we can put Hive Mind into play right away. If Show and Tell doesn't resolve, guess what? Hive Mind is really castable. There's plenty of mana in this deck. The Ancient Tombs will help get you there. Six mana is not that much in a game where your opponent's already on low resources because they had to counter your show and tell. It's just kind of a check of, do you have it? If you do, we'll have this conversation again in a couple turns. If you don't, you're dead now. The deck also can back itself up with Pact of Negation and Force of Will. Get those in there. Stifle is in the deck. You can use it as Disruption. Uh, you can still hit a fetch land with it like you would in a tempo stifle deck, but the trigger that you the the requirement to pay for your packs is a trigger. You can pact of negation something to stay alive, and then in your upkeep stifle the trigger that makes you pay five or lose the game. That's an option that exists, and a really cool innovation is the card sudden substitution. This is from Commander 2019, so it did not exist back in the olden days. I've actually never seen this card before loading up the deck list to play this today. Four mana instant, split second. As long as this spell is on the stack, players can't cast spells or activate abilities. So that's what split second means. Basically, you can't interact with it. Exchange control of target non-creature spell and target creature. That spell's controller may choose new targets for it. So if your opponent has a Delver of Secrets, and you have four mana and Pact of the Titan, you can put Pact of the Titan on the stack, maintain priority, sudden substitution, which can't be countered, and you can give them your Pact in exchange for their Delver, and then it's up to them to either counter that Pact that they now control, you get the Delver regardless, because this has split second, this is going to happen, then you have Delver, and they have to counter their own Pact now, or lose <laughs> if they don't have five mana which delver decks frequently don't this is a really cool way to absorb the blow that creature decks put on you and also enable the combo further just really exciting stuff never seen this card before i'm really excited to cast it the sideboard is just full of ways to not die on turn zero basically you got ley lines surgical fairy macabre Leyline of Sanctities against discard decks and like burn and probably I would bring it in against Storm too. Fluster Storm is good on both offense and defense. Echoing Truth for random hate pieces. And there's a bonus Slaughter Pact in here in case you get paired against a creature matchup. Slaughter Pact is the 
probably the worst of the packs because it doesn't help you advance your board state and you do need a target when you're comboing and it's the cheapest one easiest to pay for there is one underground sea in the deck in case we need to pay for a slaughter pact and play fair but hopefully that doesn't come up i hope we just dumpster everybody this is hive mine let's go i'm on the draw in round number one i'm gonna keep this i preordained to dig for stuff i have the hive mind i have stifle if they leave up a fetch land like a chump oh ley line of the void all right we're playing against some sort of Helm deck, probably. All right, we got some mono black curses coming in hot. I think I'm going to leave up Stifle rather than play Preordain here. Maybe I'll get punished by Chalice of the Void and lose immediately. Or maybe I'll make sure I don't lose to whatever. Ooh. Okay, I'm going to Preordain now. I would really like to find another blue source so I can win next turn. Uh-oh. Bottom, bottom. Okay, Force of Will is a good one. That Ancient Tomb's a swamp in case I need to slaughter pack something. Though, I suspect any creature they play will be black. Okay, I'm thinking Stifle is not going to help me out here. I'm going to force pitching the Stifle. Come on, Blue Land. Shit. Alright. We're a little stuck here. Bitter Heart Witch. Alright, when this dies, you may search a library for a curse and put it on the battlefield of Dark to Blair. Alright, so they have to... I think has to die first. Blue land for the win. Tilt. I'm one mana away from Hive Mind, and I could actually make a 4-4 four four with Pact of the Titan. Sounds terrible, though. This witch is such a weird card. It seems so bad. Blue source. Okay. Um, I'll try this. Show and tell. I'm sure there are some fucked up permanents in their deck, but hopefully Hive Mind will win before they can kill me. I really wanted the first win of the league to be on the back of a sudden substitution. I'm a little disappointed. Put in a second light line. All right. Enjoy a 4-4. Four four. Got a long pause here. <laughs> I wonder if the opponent is realizing with horror what's happening. Sudden edict. Okay. Um, targeting themselves. Okay. Well, the trigger does happen. I'm going to target myself. I don't want them to lose the witch, but they're going to do it anyway. All right, you can edict yourself and get a witch. Um, I'm going to pact again in response, just in case this is something that... I don't know. Like, what could they do? I'm a little worried. What do you got? I'm trying to think of what curse can save them here. Curses aren't usually good at generating mana. Or winning on the spot. Look at this giant token. Apparently we're using Throne of Eldraine giant tokens off of our future site rare. Fair enough. That's pretty sweet. Beanstalk's going to this guy. Okay, they decided they don't actually have anything and conceded. I wonder if they could beat the first one. I don't actually know. Definitely couldn't beat the second though. Okay, Mono Black Curses is the name of the game. Uh, Leyland of Sanctity. Curses target. Uh, so does Helm. Echoing Truth can bounce various curses. I don't know if I need all this. They're not really known for having creatures, so Sudden Substitution might actually be bad, even though it was pretty sweet there. Or was threatening to be pretty sweet there. Their creatures are black, so Slaughter Pact is no good. Get Stifle back in here. I think Substitution, just having one of those in the deck's probably better than the third Stifle. Because there are some creatures. They play like Opposition Agent, and we saw the Bitter Heart Witch. Stifling Bitter Heart Witch's trigger, though. Holy guacamole. That might have just tie broke it for me. Okay. Stifle's back in. Let's go. Well, turn two Hive Mind. No pact yet, but I have two cantrips to try to find it. I'm going to keep this. The cool thing about this deck is if they have Leyline and I show and tell and they put in Helm, I they still lose. They, they can deck me on my turn, but I don't lose till I draw a card and then they lose in their upkeep. Leyline of Sanctity, by the way, the curses only target when they're being cast. If they're already in play, a Leyline won't knock them off me. And if I cast show and tell and they put one in, then it just arrives and requires a target, or requires a uh, player to attach to, according to the game rules, which is not the same as targeting. 
So they can curse me, despite a ley line, if I find one. If there's a game three and they find one. Okay, I'm gonna ponder. That sees more cards. I'm just looking for any packed effect. Uh, shuffle this. All right, that's a packed effect. It's kind of a dangerous one, though, because it does require them to cast a spell, or require someone to cast a spell. Swamp, swamp, pass. Alpha, multi five. Do I need to respect this? I can brainstorm, see what the hand looks like for next turn. I think I'm actually into that. I can pact and stifle if I need to stay alive for a turn. All these things are here. I didn't want to jam show and tell because their deck is full of horrifying permanents. And if they get one in play that's better than what I'm doing, then I'm fucked. Okay, there's a pact. I'm going to put Blooded Strand Hive Mind on top of my deck. I don't want to lose my Hive Mind to a discard spell, and I'm not going to get the, the fetch land in case they have Opposition Agent. Ooh, nothing pass is the play. Okay, uh, one, two, three, show and tell. Put in Hive Mind. Do they have something fucked up here? They have Curse of Misfortunes. They can curse me additional times. All right, here we go. I'm going to cast Pact of the Titan. And in response to the trigger, so they can't counter their own spell, I'm going to counter my Pact of the Titan. Then they get a copy of Pact of Negation that can only counter my own spells, so I don't have to pay for them. But they'll have to pay anyway, and then they'll have a Pact of the Titan coming. So they're going to have to come up with 10 mana on their upkeep. Or some way to not die in the face of this. And a spell can't counter itself, according to the game rules. So they can't pack their own pack. They have to pick one of mine. All right, they countered my Pact of the Titan, which means my Pact of Negation fizzles, because it has no target. So I'm not responsible. I'm not on the hook for any mana right now. And they're on the hook for 10. Okay, go. And I can even... Oh, I should not stifle the curse trigger. Oh, it's at the beginning of... Oh, it is your upkeep. <laughs> They're slaughter pacting for good measure. Um, okay. I can stifle that pact if it somehow gets back around to my turn, but, like, that doesn't do anything. Okay. You're on the hook for 10 mana right now. They unfortunately stack their triggers correctly, because if I try to stifle the Curse of Misfortunes, then they can stifle one of the packs. Though maybe that's still worth it, because they don't have even 5 mana. I could make sure I don't get cursed here. Alright, I'm going to roll the dice. Here comes a curse. I don't know if there's a curse they can put on me that keeps them from losing the game. And if there is, we'll know for game 3. Curse of Exhaustion... Enchanted player can't cast more than one spell each turn. All right, I'm not planning on having another turn. Yep, okay. All right. Mono black curses, everybody. Undefeated with Hive Mind in 2022. I'm on the draw in round two. On the play, I would keep this hand. This is a lot of stifles. On the draw. I'm going to try it. Fetched immediately. Tilt. Noble Hierarch. All right. Well, that's a creature for a slaughter pact. I'm ready. That's a blue card for Force of Will. Playing against Infect? Hell yeah, we are. I'm going to force that pitching one of the Hive Mines. Stifle that fetch land. Get the fuck out. Yeah. <laughs> Opponent said, I love what you're doing here. Hive Mind is awesome. I agree. Okay, Scalding Tarn. That's the third mana for show and tell when I draw it. Ponder. Have it. This is also the black mana for Slaughter Pact, if I need to just be alive in the face of poison. Which might come up. Ink Moth Nexus, non-black creature. Yep, that creature is not black. Story checks out. To not get in for one point of regular damage. All that means is that they're not planning on winning with damage. It might represent a spell pierce. It might represent just that's not the plan. Might represent an end step brainstorm. All of these things are live. I do have to be a little careful with Slaughter Pact because Infect historically has played Stifle and Wasteland. And 
I guess I have the stifle to back it up if I need to. So I'm probably okay. If they go too hard on this thing, I'll go for a slaughter pact. I'm happy to accept two poison here. Take my time on that. Second main ponder. I can just kill this thing, or I can try to hive mind. Uh, all right, I'm gonna slaughter the the ink moth nexus now. I'll just take a turn paying for the tolls. I think that, like, even though that's the only pact I have right now, I think that it's worth doing to just take the pressure off. Pay three or lose. I'll pay three, given those options. Underground Sea already coming in clutch. I'm going to leave Stifle down for a turn to get the Spiridane moving. Okay, one more mana and I can pay for that pact. Like, I could just put a 4-4 into play, which is always a plan that exists in the deck. Hierarch, okay. I could also stifle my trigger, but I'd rather be able to pay for it. Or I could win. Let's try that one. G a Force of Will. Tilt. Alright, Force of Will Pitching Blighted Agent has occurred. I am gonna block. I'll stifle my pack trigger. If they have another Force, if they can counter my stifle, I'm gonna lose. But... I would like to challenge this dingus in combat if I can keep their infect creatures off the board. I got nothing but time to sculpt. They can pump it again to beat it in combat, but that eats a pump spell out of their hand. Yeah, invigorate, just sure. Okay, a moment of truth. Is your hand force blue card? Nice. Oh, all right, time to draw a pact. Uh, if I had just waited. But I might be dead if I waited. No, I liked that. The two Hierarchs are brutal. That just represents so much poison. All right, up to five Infect. Come on, packed off the top. Packed! Oof. It's not a Packed. Three more poison coming my way. They can pretty safely deduce that I have nothing here. And I can't... Like, exchanging control of Ink Moth, or uh, Invigorate and Glistener Elf doesn't do anything because they have the same controller. It doesn't, like, pull it out of combat or anything, so. Yeah, maybe if I wait on the Pact, I win, but if they had a second pump spell, I lose anyway. Yeah, that was a tight one. The second Slaughter Pact comes in. I like Flusterstorm and Echoing Truth here. I don't really love Stifle. And being able to interact early is nice. Uh, I think Sudden Substitution is actually a complete banger in this matchup. I'm going to cut the Stifles. And just try to combo this opponent. Do I want Echoing Truth? Do I want all the Sudden Substitutions? I kind of do, though. Pactum Negation might be kind of medium. I think I need all the cantrips. Is Force of Will bad? Probably not. That's a good card in general. I am both a combo deck and playing against a combo deck. Yeah, Force Will's probably okay in that environment. I guess I'll cut a Preordain. I'm just out of things I want to cut. And I think Sudden Substitution is a really insane alternate win con here. Okay, I'll keep this. This has black mana. It's got show and tell and a way to dig. Let's have a look. Force of Will packed... I don't actually want these. None of them at all. Looking for hive mines. Uh oh, they're going turbo. I hope I don't just get turn two'd here. They don't currently control a forest for invigorate. Okay, there's a forest for invigorate. Here it comes. How much are we taking? Currently two. Answer is two. Come on, hive mind. Cluster storm. All right, that'll help keep me alive if necessary. I have Flusterstorm and Slaughter Pack to survive with. Definitely prefer to draw Hive Mind though. No interaction here. I'm not going to interact unless I'm dead. It's not doing it. Sylvan Library. Shit. That's a good one. All right. Time to draw Hive Mind. Hive Mind. Oh my God. Okay. Show and tell with Flusterstorm back up. Put in Hive Mind. I'm going to slaughter your Glistener Elf. You get to make a copy. I don't see any black mana over there. 
Yeah! Ships in the night. Not really, though, because I had tons of interaction in my hand, but certainly the wind side felt like ships in the night. Okay, I still think Stifle's bad. I'm going in. Blusterstorm and Brainstorm are good. Uh, I'm going to keep this. Needs a little help, but I have half of the combo and interaction. Oh, why couldn't that be Noble Hierarch? I'm going to let that resolve. I can Flusterstorm and Invigorate, which is the thing I'd be most worried about, I think. B-Storm. It looks like I'm unlikely to die this turn. Ooh, Brainstorm locked over there. Handful of spells, though, which is horrifying in all its own ways. I'm going to Brainstorm now while I can't get dazed or flustered or whatever. Put back one of the packs and land or two lands? Yeah, one of the packs and land. And I'm going to fetch right now so I don't get stifled. I'm not going to ponder right now, though. I do think leaving up Force and Flusterstorm is the way here. My opponent's Brainstorm locked, missing land drops. I need to make sure I don't get cheesed out. Uh, invigorate is the type of cheese I'm not interested in. And I want to hit the Invigorate because that puts the most stats on it, makes Berserk the most powerful. If you counter the Invigorate, the Berserk is also bad. Okay, cool. I actually countered. Didn't want to take a second run at it. All right, Noble Hierarch's a little scary. That unlocks a lot of action. Ponder, let's find some action. Oh, there's the substitution. Uh, so that's the win next turn. I do not shuffle my library. Okay, we might be doing it with a substitution win. Do I want to play around anything? No. All right, go. I'm not going to play around Stifle or... I'll play around Wasteland by not playing around Stifle. They have to respect Slaughter Pact here. I'm going to Force of Will that. Please don't have counterplay. Please don't have more. Please don't have more. Oh, God. Uh, I'm at one. Effectively at one. Don't have a pump spell. Don't have a pump spell. Don't have a pump spell. Oh, my God. The nine poison stabilization party. And Pactum Negations in my hand. I don't think I'm going to need it, but I will take it. Y'all ready for this? Oh, my God. I'm so excited. Even if they counter this... I still get their Glistener Elf. Okay. Hold priority. Cast Pact of the Titan. Let me read some substitution one more time. Exchange control of target non-creature spell and target creature. Yeah, okay. Cast Titan. Holding priority. Sudden substitution. Take the poison creature. Yoink! <laughs> this is so fucking sweet. And I can pack to their interaction on Pact. Like, if they try to force Will Pact so they don't die, I can pack their Pact. Days. Uh, okay, that's a little dangerous. Because um, if I Pact and they force my Pact, I lose. All right, yeah, I'm, I'm not going to fuck with this. They can have their days. I'll take my weirdo removal spell. Stabilize at one. All right, turning on to life points here. <laughs> Pivoting. Deck points, life points, poison points. Everything's in play. Ponder, let's go. Hive mind again. Or now, not again. I'm going to need that eventually, but do I want it now is the question. I think, yeah, I'll take it. Not going to shuffle. I'm one mana away from the hive mind. Uh, they have not represented any second threat here. Noble Hierarch, okay. Any block is a trade, because the Infect will leave a minus one counter on it, and the Exalted will wear off eventually. I'll take a Stone Rain here, for sure. I don't think they're going to attack, though. Nah. No way, Jose. Under sees Preordain at the very least. Oh, or we can just have the whole win right here. Okay, I'm going to put Show and Tell in my hand and Pact of the Titan on top. Uh, do not shuffle. My opponent says they've never seen a Sudden Substitution before. <laughs> I said I've never cast it before. Yeah, I had never seen it before this league either. 
Okay, one area of concern here is that they have not played a creature or a land in several turns, which means their hand is all spells. The deck is full of pump spells, which are not good, but it's also full of forces, which are good. Anyway, here's show and tell. And my volcanic island's in the deck, so if something goes wrong here, I can pact of the titan and pay for it. Are we hard casting dazes, building up storm for a fluster? Well, I can pay for days. What's next? Got a fluster storm. Okay. Not going to be able to fight that. This was still a two for one. Working through it here. My top card is preordain. Can try to reload next turn. Still not attacking. I am the... I am the control deck here, where I need to stay alive. Even just, like, attacking one, letting them poke for two might be a game-breaker. Though, them poking for two is also them being down a mana, but it's a rebuild turn. Maybe I'll try to bait that play on a, a go-for-it turn. Passing the turn again. Preordain. I'm going to fetch first, because when I scry two, I want to keep all the cards around. Come on, sudden substitution. Let's do it again. Ha! Okay. Bottom hive mind. Top sudden sub. Here we go again. I could wait a turn and play around days. But stealing their noble hierarchs pretty sick too. Eh, let's go. Act. And sub. This is sweet. I love this line. I'm glad I didn't board these out. We're having a normal one out here today. On to the next round. Still undefeated. We're a few rounds into the video. Thanks for sticking with me. Friendly reminder that if you're still here and having fun, smash that subscribe button. And if you want to play what I'm playing, you can use my affiliate link for TCG Player to support the channel while you shop for cards, and you can try any deck anytime with a cardhoarder.com loan account for Magic Online. All these links are in the video description below. Now back to the league. I'm on the draw in round three. I'm going to keep this hand. It's got the show and tell, the hive mind, the sudden substitution, and some protection, and some selection. I'm in. These are the things I want out of my deck. Uh-oh. <laughs> Here we are doing this. Do need to find a pact before I'm dead. Sudden substitution's pretty exciting, though. Delver did not flip. I'll take that re reprieve. No follow-up. Interesting. Drawing basic island's pretty cool. I'm gonna brainstorm here. Okay. Ancient Tomb, huge game. No packs, huge problem. I can put back one of the show and tells and one of the lands. Yeah, I think that's the line. I could just ram show and tells on the stack until they lose or just, yeah, all right. I'm going to float show and tell on top and pass here. I would like to win the game, though, if they're just passing the turn without playing creatures or cantrips, the only thing left in their hand is lands and counter spells. And Merktide Regent. Like, lands, counterspells, and Merktide Regent are the only things that make any sense to be in their hand right now. Unless they're on a Stifle build. That would be kind of annoying. Alright, Expressive Iteration. That makes sense. That's a card that you wouldn't cast on turn 2, but you would on turn 3. Looted Delta. They found their land drop. And I'm going to fetch another basic island. Draw a Pact. Nope. Brainstorm. Let's go. Wow, still no packs. Tough crowd. Put back two lands. Could jam a show and tell, hoping they counter it, but if they don't counter it, I'm just in trouble. All right, I'm just going to land pass. Delver, the, the fugitive wizard in play for the third turn in a row. No action over there. I appreciate you, little Delver. Okay, drawing a pact or a cantrip are good here. Like, pact is my best draw. Cantrip is my second best draw. And I'll probably just put a show and tell on the stack this turn, no matter what happens, whether I have a payout or not. Brainstorm. I bet Delver's going to flip this time. We're approaching the point in the match where they can almost pay for packs. We're getting there. Ugh. All right, well, I'll put a show and tell on the stack. Let's get that force of will out of your hand. It'll be really embarrassing if this just resolves and I can't win the game. Okay, force pitching EI. Deal. All right, him to Turok. Resolves. I have another show and tell. I can cast Hive Mind starting next turn. 
Delver flipped revealing lightning bolt. So the clock is on. I need a pact. Pact, pact, pact a roo. Give it a little packy. The Merktide region can drop here too. Channeler, okay. Non delirious. And I'm going to fetch. Just trying to maximize drawing a pact. Do I want to stay mono blue? Do I want to take the black? Now I'll stay mono blue. Pact. Another sudden substitution. One, two, three. One, two, three. I'm a mana short of exchanging control of show and tell and Delver, which is just like a sweet one because I don't care who controls show and tell when it resolves. Um, I'm going to play the volcanic island and pass. If I force of will something, then if they fight back, I can exchange my force of will that's getting countered with one of their creatures. Merktide Regent milled. Eight, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. I'm at two if this happens. That's not very much. Uh, that turns off Ancient Tomb. If I force pitching show and tell, I'm giving up on that. Is that fine? One, two, three, four, five. Do I just go to two? Great. I am going to force pitching show and tell. Feels bad, but I'm in. I'm kind of trying to bait interaction here. Like, I hope they do try to counter my force. And then I can borrow their channeler. It did involve for it. I'm going to have to draw a pact that I can cast. So, slaughter or titan. You put me to four, which is not dead to Lightning Bolt, importantly. That is a magic number here. Wasteland is a beating. I am suddenly dead to Lightning Bolt again, because I'll have to tap Ancient Tomb. Come on, Pact. Shit. All right, guess I'm dead. That was disappointing. 18 cards into the deck without finding a Pact, but welcome to playing Show and Tell decks. That's always part of the territory. Luckily, they didn't see anything weird. They just saw uh, blue and red lands and show and tells and forces. They don't know I'm hive mind. They know that. Um, they know I'm show and tell. I like flusterstorm. I've seen people bringing in leyline against Delver lately. I don't know that this is a matchup where that's going to be a thing I want to do. I like the extra slaughter pact. I like the flusterstorm. Probably don't like stifle that much. I could bring in Echoing Truth to buy time, but any of that that I bring in is diluting the combo at this point, because everything else is a cantrip or a combo piece. And I do like Force of Will to punch through. Okay, this is all I'm doing. On the play, lots of lands and ponder. I'm actually going to keep this. It's not hyper interactive, but lots of lands is important, because I need to get out above days if they wasteland me. I need to be insulated against that. I might actually lead on Volcanic Island and try to get a Wasteland out of them because they have so many lands that I don't care. I guess I care if they spend turn one casting a creature and then turn two waste me and then like catch me on the back end. Yeah, I don't like that. I'm going to just ponder. They mold to five though. I like that. All right, ponder. Just give me the three pieces of the combo I need. Shut it down. Uh, preordain and a subtle substitution or sudden substitution. I'll take the preordain, keep the substitution on top. I have a turn three win if they have a creature. Mystic Sanctuary tapped. Okay. That's not very good. There's the substitution. I'm going to fetch another basic and cast preordain. E or D. Two show and tells. I actually don't want either of those. That's not where this game is going. Big fan of Flusterstorm, though. I'll probably Fluster an Expressive Iteration, though. Would they even cast it right now? I don't think so. Guess I'm waiting a turn. This is, of course, going to be the game where I have the, the turn three sudden substitution win, and they just don't have a creature. They have to play one eventually, though. This is not a deck that wins without a creature in play. Brainstorm. I'm not going to spend my Fluster on that, though I am slightly tempted. I'm going to wait till they play a creature and then do the sudden substitution and I'm going to counter whatever they use to try to counter the pack that's going to kill them. 
And if they win the counter war over the pact, then I still have their creature at the end of the day. This is an EI, which I'm not going to fluster because specifically of substitution. Kind of hope they do reveal Dragon's Rage Channeler here. Oh, they revealed Wasteland and then played Volcanic Island. So they gave up on their spell. Oh, they're going to be so sad. Going to get another basic and then I'm going to just ram a jam. Another substitution. That doesn't really matter. Okay, so I'm going to Slaughter Pact. Hold priority. And we're going to trade. You are now killing my creature. I love that substitution has split second. So I can commit to this. And all they can do is counter the pact. Like, I'm never going to be left with my shields down by them countering um, the substitution. And now we're going to have a... They're either dead or we're going to have a final... A counter war over them countering their own spell. I'm happy to... Con Put my Force of Will and my Fluster Storm into this effort. Okay, you Force Pitching Force. I'll Force you back. I get DRC triggers. F yeah. Active Negation into the Graveyard. They have Double Days they get me. Okay, sweet. Good luck over there. Ah, oh, bummer. They get to look at my deck. Um... I don't really want you to do that, actually. <laughs> uh, uh, uh. Protect your information. Maybe I should have saved the fluster for Manamorphos. <laughs> Didn't have it. And my secrets. Cue the Frodo Baggins meme. All right, keep your secrets. Okay. They know I'm not regular as show and tell anymore, but I am still show and tell. They still haven't seen Hive Mind, though they can. If they have the historical perspective to know that this deck even exists, then they can probably put the pieces together. Or they might think I'm just a sub substitution deck. I don't know. Is there such a thing as just a sudden substitution deck? I don't think my plan changes here. I'm going in. I like this one. Keep it. Substitution is actually just way better than show and tell and hive mind in this matchup. I kind of love putting my opponent in a position where their best case scenario is a two for one and the worst case scenario is you're dead. I guess it's a two for two because I have to put my pact up. All right, fine. It's not as fun as I initially thought. If I can find a basic island, I'm going to be feeling okay about the situation. Ponder, find me another basic. There it is. Oh, wow. The whole squad's here. I'm going to draw the land now. And... Hive mine is under it. I can decide if that's something I want. I have the turn three combo if there's a creature in play. But they need to put a creature into play eventually, or they can't win anymore. I'm just going to land go. I can brainstorm in the end step and supercharge the hand, get the, use the fetch for full value, untap and ponder. All this assuming they don't play a creature, which they if they do, I'm just going to make the trade. This is where they have Court of Cunning, or something that actually does win the game without attacking. Extracting my Ponder is tilt. Alright, well, I'll brainstorm away the Ponder that's in my hand. And I'll take the Shuffle here. Oh god, two Ponders. Alright, well, easy choice. They actually get a good peek at my hand here. They know what they gotta play against. They know they probably should not put a creature into play. Tricky spot here is that if they don't play a creature, then I can't play a land because I can't let Ancient Tomb get wasted before I get to cast a spell. I kind of all in on that. Ooh, bold choice. You just saw the spread here. All right, well, I'm going to have a Murktide Regent. Worst case scenario. Best case scenario, the game is over. Don't need to shuffle my Brainstorm because they already did that for me. Found a land. One. And I'm going to Pact of the Titan. Because Slaughter Pact is actually castable and useful. In like a normal game. Okay. You're on the hook for a Pact. Lots of counter spells in the deck. Um, I can Force of Will. I lose my Hive Mind if I do that. How devastating is that? I'm going to go for it. Like, this is the game. 
And if we just both get scrappy and run out of resources here, I have a Merc Tide Regent. Force Pitching Force, Days, okay. If they have Pyroblast Wasteland, I'm actually kind of in the Stone Age. At least it's not a Wasteland. Channeler. <laughs> I drew another hive mind. Obviously. Here comes my 6-6. Six, six. Yeah, just like taking control of the Merktide region is a game breaker on its own. Forget about all the other stuff. I am going to pack to the Titan in the end step. At least I think I am. Just having a 4-4 four, four to supplement my 6-6. Six, six. I guess it depends on what they do this turn. Pyroblast. All right. That's certainly a card you can play. They have not made their land drop yet, so as much as I would love to ambush this thing in combat, I'm not going to risk dying to a wasteland. And I have Slaughter Pact anyway if I draw the land. Okay, I'm going to fetch now to make sure that I don't lose to a Stifle. One, two, three, four, five. All right. And I'm going to make a 4-4 four, four and just attack. Wow, had to force of will the 4-4 four, four creature. Fuck yeah. I love that. Okay, and draw land for hive mind. GG. Oh baby, everyone's having a good time today. <laughs> this deck is sick. Undefeated, going into round four. The Delver Slayer. I think I have a new favorite card, and it's the sudden, whatever this is, sudden switching, sudden switcheroo. On to the next round. I'm on the draw for round four. I have show and tell packed fast mana and cantrips. We're in. Blooded Strand. Okay. Is that going to fetch snow covered plains or volcanic island? What are we doing with that thing? Reveal yourself. Brainstorm's a sweet one. I'm going to preordain. Just give up the fact that I'm a combo deck immediately. Another packed, another show. I don't want another packed. I might want another show. If they're a blue deck, it functions as him to Tarok some amount of the time, which is a card I love in blue decks, or against blue decks. Mystic Sanctuary tapped, okay. Someone's trying to put something together over there. If I draw a Hive Mind, I'm just going to jam show and tell. If I don't, I'll spend some more time sculpting. Okay, brainstorm, let's go. I can brainstorm and ponder this turn, just see a million cards. Oh yeah, the gang's all here. Ooh. I found a stifle. You don't say. Okay, I'm gonna put back Show and Tell and Ancient Tomb. Or is it Misty and Ancient Tomb? Yeah, it's Misty and Ancient Tomb. Because I'm just gonna play this land and hold up Stifle for the turn. You don't even need to ponder anymore. I'm gonna obliterate this fetch land. The person who plays turn two Mystic Sanctuary is not doing okay on mana. Promise. Bang! I think stifling your show and tell deck is some some next level bullshit. Okay. They have to daze just to like even function here. Picking up their tap land. Didn't even float blue with it. Whoops. Oh, this is Delver with a bad start. Maybe wanted to float blue with that. Okay. So we got some action here. Um I'm drawing Ancient Tomb. I can jam a show and tell on the stack, and then Yeah, I'm gonna go with a show and tell. I don't have the pact immediately, but if they force this, I'm really happy about that. Force pitching force. Okay, deal. Sure. Resolves. And now I'm going to ponder. A force and the misty. I do want the misty. All right. I'll take the force. Hope they don't have wasteland. I'm doing okay if they don't have wasteland. I might be in a little trouble if they do have one. Flip Delver revealing ponder. There's ponder. Just chain lightning straight to the dome. Got to do what you got to do. I'm going to fetch and then cast show and tell again. I'm not going to tap ancient to him if I don't have to. Show and tell. Yeah, the funny part of all of this is that if they just don't play a spell, they win. But I'm going to force pitching sudden substitution. Put in hive mind and hope they cast a spell at some point. Yeah, if they just, like, draw lands for the next four turns and don't play a spell by accident, then they're going to win. Which is really funny to me. Unfortunate, but funny. 
Yeah, because if they cast like Ponder, I also get one, which is really bad. That's really bad too. All right, I'm actually in trouble. Like it doesn't even make sense for them to cast a spell. That's something I didn't consider. Yeah, I think I should have just not cast the show and tell. And then they cast something and I packed it and then change switch for Delver. I got to draw a spell here. Any spell, literally any spell. If I can put it on the stack, I'm happy about it. Oh no, I'm going to die to this. Oh no. They have just drawn three lands. I don't know if they even realize how this works, but it's bad. Okay. Let's draw a ponder. <laughs> oh my god. Uh. All right. I fucked this game up somehow. Guaranteed. Giveth and taketh away. Thought we were doing so well. Yeah, this is. Turns out Hive Mind is not Omniscience, where even Omniscience would have lost that game. But yeah, that was awkward. Fought my fight, won my fight, lost the game. Obviously, there's back to the Titan. Okay. Against Delver. I did the Fluster Storms and the Slaughter Pact last time. Took out the Stifles. I don't think those are actually good for the matchup. And let's go. All right. I'm keeping this. Three lands. We have a Pact that doesn't require my opponent to do anything. And Substitution, which... We have identified as the better card in this matchup. I wonder if I just slam turn three show and tell. Probably. Just no matter what else is going on, show and tell. Bobble. Bobbling me. And Delver. Okay. We both get a card. Minus Ponder. I like Ponder. I'll play my land first. I'm not going to fuck around and find out with a daze. Another Pact. Land number four is really exciting. I don't think I need another Pact. Draw the fourth land. Fetch. I want to make sure I don't get stifled. Who does that anyway? They saw stifle game one, so maybe they'll think about it. Slow down their roll. Give me a chance to get fake value off a of stifle that's not in my deck. Delver flipped revealing Brainstorm. Cast Ponder first. Fearless. Okay. Unpunished, though. I don't have it. I think I am going to jam show until next turn. Like, there are Daze deck, Force of Will, Pyroblast. All these things are in the deck. I right, get this. Jam show until. This is just him to Turok. Okay, Daze, you got me. One less Daze in your hand for next turn. And step Brainstorm. Okay. We setting up a Murktide region over there? What's going on? Could be setting up an expressive iteration, putting a zero mana spell on top. Or a second from the top, as the case may be. I would love to draw a blue spell. That would be great. Or blue card. Extracting my show and tells. That's not part of the plan anymore. Good luck, Buttercup. Ponder. Okay. What are we digging for? We're digging for an answer to Pact of the Titan. And I am crossing my fingers for a blue card. They did not shuffle. And they played another Ponder. They did shuffle that time. Drawing Ancient Tomb would be sick. Like, just let me play around Daze. But I don't need to play around Daze. They need to cast Daze on their own spell, not on mine. Okay. Here we go. Act of the Titan. Give me that Delver. And I did draw the blue card. So we got that going. Daze. I can force this... Or we can, because uh, this is just such a beating. I wish that was force. We did just shuffle a ponder. Like, if I force this and they daze again, then I'm just out of gas. I'm going to swing for the fences here, though. Shuffling that ponder was a sign of weakness. Let's do this. You don't have three dazes. Okay, the force resolved. And the pact resolved. Please don't have Stifle in your deck. If they Stifle here and just bash me with the 4-4. Four, four. <laughs> Yikes. All right, what are we doing? We're dying. Perfect. Sudden Substitution. Who knew? Legacy Staple. I don't think I'm going to change anything. They did just Surgical me, though, so they know that I don't have Stifle. 
but that doesn't make Sifle better. The ley lines don't make sense. No, I'm I'm going back in. Same deck. This is the relentless lethal spell machine that I need to be doing. This hand has most of what I want. I'm going to keep it. Basically, I have a Pact and Fast Mana. Really looking for a substitution off this Preordain. That is the best card in this deck. Definitely in the Delver Mirror, or Delver matchup at least. Please guys ponder. Shit. Another Pact. Sudden Substitution. Show it to me. Slaughter Pact. Uh, could cast that, but no. I, I need to just shred for the combo here. Hey! <laughs> Always had it. Brainstorming to aggressively flip Delver on turn two. That is a way to play this matchup. They did mull to six, so down a card. Delver flipped, revealing Ponder. Okay, so I'm going to take six from this Delver, and then I'm going to trade for it. Oh, no land. Wow. Okay. I would like to draw a blue card to go with my Force of Will and just really ram this one home. There's the Ponder. Knew about that. Fetching and Channeler. Okay, they have three card types. I have two. It will be three when my substitution resolves. Blue card. Blue card. Blue card. A good one, too. Wow. All right. Well, here we go. Ancient Tomb. Pact. Substitute. And I think I do want to take Delver. That just gives me more agency with what it does. I can't Pact of Negation here. I can Force of Will. Because if I Pact and they end up... I guess if they counter my Pact, then... No, I can Pact, yeah. They would have to counter my Pact, and then I get to keep Force of Will. I'm going to let DRC resolve. Oh, wait, no. Because if they left Pact resolve, then counter Pact to the Titan, then I lose. That's what I was talking about. Yeah, okay. I'm going to Force... Pitching Pact on their force. They have two cards left in their hand. If they had days, they would have started with that. We did it! 4-0. and oh, Farming Delver twice. Let's go to the trophy match. On the play in round number 5. I have turn 1 Stifle on the play. Uh, I actually like this hand. I'm keeping it. I'm going to try to cheese with the Stifle. I can cast cantrips next turn, and I got a draw step in between. Like, I don't need a cantrip for my second land right away. And nobody plays around Stifle. Let me just put you in the dirt, please, opponent. I need this. Begging you. <laughs> I could also just turn one 4-4 four, four creature. Let's make a Titan Stifle the trigger. I have Force to protect my Stifle, and then start attacking. We'll see how this shakes out. I don't really hate any of those ideas. My opponent is a fan of the channel. They said, I hope I crush you, but unlikely. Well, I'm 4-0. I have the winds of victory at my back. Please crack this fetch land. Fuck yeah. Little friendly banter straight into stifle your fetch land. Thought we were friends. I have no friends when I'm 4-0. Bang. All right, time to hit my land drop, though. That is going to be important. Oh, that's a good one. I am going to ponder. I found Hive Mind right away, which I don't need right away. I'm going to Volcanic Island, Hive Mind, Island, Don't Shuffle, Play Island. I draw Hive Mind next turn, and then I can preordain to bury the Volcanic Island. We're just walking it forward here. Let's see if they can recover from this polluted Delta fetch. Disappointing. All right, we got a Bloodstained Mire. Are we Reanimator? What's going on over there? Oh, yeah, we are. Thought Seize. Um, targeting me. All right. Thought Seize can resolve. I'm also a combo deck. Like, do you want to take my Pact, which is clearly a combo piece, or do you want to take Force of Will, which stops you from operating? Uh-oh. We got big laughs in the chat. Ha 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 ha. My, the jig is up. Okay. Taking my Force of Will is pretty strong. I can preordain and brainstorm this turn. I get to see a lot of new cards. I'm going to preordain first. I'm going to pretend this game's going to last longer. All right. Uh, bottom, top, 
take the brainstorm or the force of will. I'm gonna cast brainstorm. Another hive mind is nice. All right, ancient tomb is getting worse. Though next turn I can ponder into show and tell and jam it if I keep ancient tomb. I need this force of will for this turn though, and I can pitch one of the hive minds to do it. Better figure out how to sequence this. How do I have Force of Will up and shuffle my deck to see new cards next turn? And I still have a Hive Mind in, in my hand when it's all over. I guess I can put back Tomb and one of the Hive Minds Force Pitch Ponder shuffle, but Ponder will see more cards next turn. Yeah, that's not it. One, two, three, four, five. I'm two turns of development away from casting a Hive Mind. That's a lot. Okay, I'm going to put Ancient Tomb and Hive Mind on top in that order. Play Polluted Delta and pass. I can force Pitching Hive Mind if I need to force. If I don't need to force, I can just shuffle and draw. Okay, you're some sort of blue deck. This is not Reanimator. I might have just sculpted my way into a Force of Will for no reason. This could be Ninjas. This could be Grixis Control. Could be Doomsday. There's another thought sees. I hope they're scared of the hive mind. Taking ponder would actually, I think, hurt me the most. Uh, yeah, took that hive mind. Stacked it like a boss. Thought sees deck. I'm going to ponder. I'll look at the ancient tomb again. Uh, in exchange, I get brainstorm. Do not shuffle my library. Now I'll shuffle my library. They indicated at all that this is a wasteland deck. I am not going to goof around with it. Brainstorm. That's a lot of stuff. Okay, put back Hive Mine and Pact. Or Pact and Hive Mine. All right, I'll pack, pack two down. I need these forces to carry me because I'm now Brainstorm locked, unfortunately. That was rough. Gotta hope they are a combo deck after all this. If this is just like a Grixis control deck or ninjas, a fair deck with Thoughtseize. I'm in a lot of trouble. Brainstorm. Fetch. Grixis confirmed. Ponder. We don't know if it's a Grixis Storm deck, Grixis Doomsday, or just Grixis Control, but it's a bad scene all around. So Grixis Control is really bad at pressuring the opponent, so I'll take that. They shuffled the Ponder. Squad up. <laughs> Full house. Infernal Tutor. Okay, just raw dogging an Infernal Tutor. I'm going to let this resolve, which could be dangerous. If they reveal another Thoughtseize and just have two Thoughtseizes, I'm going to lose. But okay, Storm confirmed. I feel a lot better about this situation now. Grabbed an LED, a second LED. They know I have Force in hand. They don't know I have two Forces. If they go for like a big pass in Flames here, I'm in good shape. Cabal writ. One unknown card left in hand. It's got to be Past in Flames, right? That's the only card that makes any sense here. It is. All right. All these Thought Seizes, I'm not going to be able to fight through. So I got to force the path, the Piff on the front and the back. It's going to get them Hellbent. They have to use both LEDs to do this. Oh, wait. No, they don't. Yeah, it costs five. They get to keep an LED around. But that's not what they did. Okay, bonus force, itching bonus hive mind. Here we go. Now let's play some idiot magic for a while. Uh, we are both, you're actually hellbent. I have my whole combo in hand, but no way to put it into play, like miles away from actually executing it. They're a land drop or lotus petal away from paying for a pact of the titan. Like they're actually just drawing out of this. So I'm going to need to execute quickly. And if they have a Dark or Cabal Ritual in hand, I won't even know if they have the mana to pay until it's time. Okay. Well, Hive Mind coming into play. And one of us is dead. I'm just going to go for it. If you drew Dark Ritual on the one draw step, you win. Uh, don't sweat me like this. Do you have the Ritual or not? They said, oh, I messed up. Did you have Lotus Petal or LED in hand and not put it in off uh, Show and Tell? That's probably what happened. Okay, yeah. It Based on the, oh, I messed up in the chat, 
I assume there is a petal or LED in hand that they were saving for Storm. Okay. Uh, we were playing against Ad Nauseum Tendrils, which is a graveyard deck. They're also a Thoughtseize deck. Um, they're not really a Leyline level Thoughtseize or a graveyard deck. I think Fairy Macabre and Surgical are enough. Maybe not. I don't even need all of that. But I'm going to get in Flusterstorm. This is the most sideboarding I've done yet. Stifling a Storm deck is big also. You can stifle a Storm trigger if you can count on that being in your hand that long. This is actually kind of tricky. And the fact that they have all the fast mana to pay for packs makes things extra complicated. I don't think I want Fairy Macabs. I'm over, I'm over sideboarding here. I like that Leyline stops both Tendrils and Thoughtseize. Like, I'm more worried about Thoughtseize. Thoughtseize than I am about Tendrils. I think I'm going to shave... I'm definitely shaving Slaughter Pact. That if they have Xanted Swarm, whatever, I'll combo out over top of it. I don't really want to cut the Stifles, but I'm running out of better options. Sudden Substitution. Oh yeah, there's no creatures. Alright, yeah, yeah. That goes. Yeah, yeah. That's easy. Disappointing, because that's my favorite card in the deck. But it's out. And... Do I start cutting cantrips? I feel like I need to combo. I can cut some stifles. I'll cut one stifle, one preordain. How about that? Here we go. Okay, I got a fast start here. No ley line, no protection of any kind. I think I have to mulligan this. All right, I'll keep this force of will hand. Force of will is not like game breaking, but I don't want to give them the option of aggro cheesing me with just a turn one ad nauseum <laughs> of course you fucker all right time to preordain this opponent is not going to mess with my mana so i'll get a volcanic island there's the hive mind and ancient tomb i'll top both of these actually sorry if you just heard a cat sound my cat jumped onto my lap and meowed directly into the mic everyone say hi to the cat End step brainstorm. All right. That's a combo player move when they're almost winning and just need a short burst of extra. Reordain. Okay. God, this ley line is such a tilt. Okay, I'm drawing Hive Mind. Play Scalding Tarn and pass the turn. City of Solitude. Interesting. Um, that does lock me out starting next turn. I guess I'll force this. Pitching Hive Mind. Come on, Brainstorm. Not a Brainstorm. Next turn, I can hard cast Forced or just make a 4-4. Four, four. See if there is a next turn. They've got a lot of Brainstorms. I do not. Got a lot of lands, too. Show and tell. All right. Not... Oh, I can show and tell Leyline. That's not nothing. There is a way to put this card into play in my deck. Do I want that? Is that good? Am I just going to lose it to an Assassin's Trophy or Chain of Vapor or something? I think I'd rather leave up Force of Will. Because if I Force of Will something with my mana on this turn, I can Pact in the end step and then pay for the Pact. I don't think I can Pact. Or if I'm pitching, I have a blue card in Show and Tell, so maybe it's all the same. A Past in Flames that's just casting Brainstorm. Sure. Resolves. That's a pretty desperate play, and I'm going to let them make it. Just a little brainstorm action. I am just going to make a 4-4 and start attacking. I think that's the way to do this. I have Force Blue card in my hand. They have enough mana to pay for packs at this point. Lotus Petals in play. Dark Ritual is on the stack. Maybe should have forced that. Thoughtseize. Shit. Yeah, I should have forced the Dark Ritual. Okay, I'm going to cast Force of Will on this Thoughtseize and hope I'm not dead, but I probably am. Force of Will. The Ball Ritual, one card left in hand, and we are Sad Nauseaming. Oh, two Past and Flames in this build. Interesting. Well, if we Sad Nause to four, I actually win. If you go to four and can't kill me, I can win. Five. One more. One more. Yes, yes, yes. Oh, flip the tendrils. Didn't even need it. Oh, my God. 
I had the pact. Uh, I mean, I'll take my fucking trophy, but I was really excited to ambush with Pact of the Titan and win that game. All natural. Wow. Folks, I just trophied with Sudden Substitution in my deck. A card I have never seen before, but I'm immediately a fan of. That card is 60 cents right now on TCGplayer.com. I just bought 16 of them for 10 bucks. <laughs> uh, seems like it's hard to miss. I don't think it's going to spike. Like, I'm not a, a finance pump and dump bro or anything, but for 60 cents, owning this legacy staple seems like a deal to me. This deck was, if I may say so, straight fucking fire. The substitution angle just dumpstered Delver twice. And Substitution gives this deck a redundancy that it didn't have in the past, where, like, I talked about the lines of, like, Show and Tell plays like him to Tarak, and then you can cast another Show and Tell or Hive Mind later. But Substitution existing in the middle of the curve and attacking in a different way and turning packs on without Hive Mind in play, I'm really impressed by that card. I, I'm trying to think of feedback to offer to this deck, but I actually can't think of any. I mean, the sideboard, obviously, tune it to your metagame. That's a generic blanket statement about sideboards, but we have all 12 of the big three cantrips in here. No room for those. We have four copies each of the two best packs and then a bonus slaughter pact over there. And you could play Summoner's Pact as just another one that you can cast without a target. Like, Slaughter Pact and Pact Negation require a target, and we did lose a game because it was that. You could just play Summoner's Pact in here, but I do like that all the packs in the deck right now actually have text. Like, you can just Pact of Negation something, either to force your combo through or to stay alive when you have 5 mana already, or Stifle. Attacking with a 4-4 came up in this league more than once. Slaughter Pacting a creature and then paying for it just normally came up more than once. This is a tight little package, and I like it a lot. I'm just going to leave it the hell alone. That's my final answer. You could probably shave the stifles for something else if you want to lead heavier into the combo side. The stifle is kind of cuter than it is good, would be how I describe that. But it did stuff. Like, it slowed opponents down. It did let me pact once, uh, like, to block the Glistener Elf that I probably would have died to. It did let me pact without five mana. It was good, but you could probably find a better slot. That's definitely the biggest flex slot in the deck. And other than saying that, I'm going to leave this alone. Costas, thank you for asking me to play this. I have two trophies this season, one with Minotaurs and one with Hive Mind. Put that on my tombstone because this was a wild season. And thank you for closing it out with a trophy. Sudden Substitution Hive Mind, folks. You saw it here first. If you're going to spec on this card or go buy Hive Minds or anything, make sure to use my TCG player link. It's in the video description. It supports the channel while you shop. Check that shit out. I'm out of here. Nothing left to say. See you next time.